What's up everyone, my name is Nugark. Welcome back to Human Resource Machine. It is time to break my brain a little bit more with Countdown. How, how bad could it be? It's gonna be terrible. Yes, welcome back. Tick, tick, tick. Time keeps ticking down, let's get to work. Oh, yes. I love what you've done with your hair. For each number in the inbox, send that number to the outbox, followed by all the numbers down to or up to zero. It's a countdown. You've got a new, you've got new commands. The add one or subtract one from an item on the floor. The result is given back to you, and for your convenience, also written right back onto the floor. Bump. Wait, what? So, if I copy it, if I copy a four there and I bump one, and I bump one. Let's see how this works. So I get the four on the floor. I add one and it turns it into a five. So it changes both of them. Okay. So what I need to do is inbox, and at the very least copy it to the ground. I think that's pretty simple. I think that's pretty simple. So it's a countdown. So, if it's negative, I want it to go all the way to the back. That's an easy way of telling it that I want only positives for right now. Um, there's a lot of spots on the floor. Wow. How do I sort into... Okay. What is this? Why is there an arm here? Why is there a robot arm? Ugh. You know what, let's, let's try this. Let's think. Seven? If I... Uh... Um... What if I just... Get all of them out? Maybe that's why I have so many, is I need all of them out onto the floor. We're opening the door, we're getting on the floor, and we're all walking the dinosaur. So we have a 7, negative 2, 0, negative 7. Alright. And then we will... Copy from here. If it's negative, go all the way to the back of the line. Which will be... How do I use bumping to do to do this? Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. I actually do not know. Wait, what? Oh! Oh, wow, okay, so I was thinking about this all wrong. I thought I had to order these. Okay. So, if it's neg- if it's three, I need three, two, one, zero. Negative three, two, negative two, negative one, zero. Wow. Okay, so inbox, copy two here. And then bump negative, and then bump it. Well, no, I need to copy it twice. And then <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. So inbox, copy it there, and copy it there. Then we're gonna bump this down one. And if it's negative, we'll go back here. To copy from here. No, that won't entirely work. Because if it's already, if it's like a negative and it minus one, then it would still be negative and it wouldn't be a countdown. Okay, so inbox, copy to here, copy to here. We want a backup. You know what, let's have this copy to be over here. It'll be way easier for me. 
So, inbox, copy it there. And I want to start bumping it down afterwards. So how do I bump it down? And, like, keep putting it out. And how do I check to make sure that it's positive first? You know what, we will do the if negative, go back here. And then this one is gonna end right here. So we will copy to there. Copy to there. We are gonna be working on the 9 slot. We are always gonna be doing stuff to the 9 slot. So we're gonna bump it up. And if that is... Okay. So we have the 7. We're working on this. We bump it down, it's gonna be a 6. If 0... Jump forward. If not 0... Outbox. Bump minus there. And jump back to here. And go like that, because if it's done there, I want it to be done there. Okay, so here's what's happening currently. We're gonna get the inbox, we're gonna copy it there and there. Then we're gonna bump it down by one. If... This number is zero, we're gonna skip to the end. Otherwise, it's gonna be a six. So we're going to outbox the six, and then bump this again. And then we are going to... Why would I jump back here? I don't want that jump. Then we're going to jump there. If it is zero, we will outbox and bump it again. And then jump... Oh wait, no. If it's zero, we go out here. Otherwise, we outbox and bump it again. And if it's zero, okay. Okay, okay. So that gets me my positives. Now, if it's a negative 2, inbox. If it is negative, go back here. Copy to 0 and 9. Well, my positives aren't finished yet. Wait. Inbox, copy to 0, copy to 9. I need this... to copy from... here. And outbox that first. Wait, but it, it can't be in there. It can't, it can't be in there. So, seven. Inbox, outbox. We always, we're always gonna have the first number in there. I don't even need the backup. Yeah. I always need that in there. So, seven goes there goes there. Technically the zero I don't need. So we're just gonna copy it to nine. So inbox, outbox. So seven goes there. And then if it's negative, we go up here. If not, the seven goes here. We're going to bump it by one. If it's zero, we're gonna skip back here. So what happens at zero? We outbox. And jump back to the beginning. Simple. If it's not zero, we put it in the outbox and we bump it by one again. And then it jumps back here. Checks if it's zero, if not, outbox it, bump it by one. If it's zero, outbox, go away. Good. Now if it's negative, we are going over here. We're copying it down there. We're gonna bump it up by one. And if it's zero, we will skip to there. Otherwise, if it's negative, go back there. Wait. So 
So if it's negative, it's gonna copy it there. And then it's gonna go down. And then it's gonna outbox it. Well, it's already outboxing it once. So I don't need that outbox. So does that apply for the positives as well? Did I do that? Inbox. Copy it down. Inbox. Copy it, then outbox. And then bump it by one. If it's negative... Wait, no. Wait, what? What did I do? I just did bad. I did bad. Inbox. It's a seven. What do I do with the seven? I copy it to nine, then I outbox it. Yes, that's good. If it's zero, we jump forward. It's not zero. And then we don't outbox it. No, wait. Inbox. Copy it there. It's not zero, outbox. Okay, this is right. Now if it's negative, negative two. I'm so sorry that you have to deal with me doing this. Negative two. It's gonna inbox. Jump if negative. It's gonna come all the way down here. It's gonna copy it to nine. And then it's gonna outbox it, and it's gonna bump it up by one. If it's... Zero. It's gonna outbox it and jump. I think I have it. <coughs> I think I have it. Unless... I don't have a zero thing at the very top, do I? If it's zero... Go to the outbox. That's what I needed. Zero. Copy it to the outbox. Jump to the beginning. I made spaghetti. I made spaghetti. Let's speed this guy up a little bit. He's gonna take a while. Oh, did I do it? I did it a really long way, admittedly. I probably could have made that a lot shorter. Now if it's zero, outbox it. If it's zero, outbox it. My goodness, I did it first attempt. It took me a lot of 10 or fewer commands. I used 17. 82 steps or fewer? 92. Wow, multiplication workshop. Do I get some now? Hello, Zero. It seems like only yesterday we were learning about adding fond memories. We worked so hard back then. For each two things in the inbox, multiply them and outbox the result. Don't worry about negative numbers for now. You got labels that can help you remember the purpose of each tile on the floor. Just tap any tile on the floor to edit. But... Cool. So, give me an example. Okay, so these two have to multiply together. Why did it give me this? I don't want this. Get your garbage out of here. Copy to four, what does that even mean? Okay. So six and five. How do I get those multiplied? We first need to inbox. Get... Get out of here. I'm gonna keep the zero one, because that seems useful. Um, so I get the six, and I need the five. Let's see. First... Second. Copy to first. Then we inbox, copy to second. Oh boy, seeing my handwriting on screen is just atrocious. 
So how do I multiply these together? Well... Um, I'm trying to think of just how to multiply it right now. It's obviously using add and bump in some way, or add and subtract and bump in some way, but I need to figure out how to make them recognize what the numbers are. How do I make it recognize that there's a 6 and a 5 right there? Do I... Let's see, is there a way to bump a number that will always work? So like, if I have a 6 and a 5, I would need it to go up... I need the 6 to go up... 30. So I need to do that 5 times. So I could do like... I could do bumps 5 times, but I don't know how I'd make it recognize. You know what? Copy from the second one. And we're gonna bump it down one. I don't need to copy from second, I already have it. So bump second. If it is zero, if it is zero, Copy from first, outbox it, and start from the beginning. Otherwise, if it isn't, I want you to copy from first, add. Wait, no, I put that in the wrong spot. I put it in the wrong spot. Go away. Add the first. Copy to first, and copy from second. Wow. Wow. So that, I think that's what I have to do. I think this is it, but I have like... and then jump to the beginning. And then... We want it to jump from here. To here. Okay. Okay. So I'm ghetto multiplying. Oh wait, no, I did I did a bad. I did a bad. Okay, I'm adding them together constantly. So I need it to copy copy to third just, I mean, this, this works for me. I could be doing, like, a sum or stuff like that. Sum is multiplying, isn't it? Yeah, I think it is. Sum? Adding? I don't, I don't remember. So, we are going to inbox copy copy. And we're gonna bump it down. If it's zero... I need it to... Go over here. If it's zero, I need it to... Copy from first. Add it first. And then outbox. Well, no, because that would... No, it wouldn't, because it would be a one, so it wouldn't multiply. It would be itself. Yeah, okay, good. Don't worry about negatives yet. I like how it said that. 
Um, if it isn't zero, it's gonna copy from the first one. No, I don't want it to copy from the first one. I want it to copy from the third one. Which means I need to copy... to first and third. I want it to copy from the third one, which will always be... the first number. So this will always be like, this is a three, this will always be the third. Well, no, that that's the one that I'm adding to. Okay, copy to third. Is this it? Now we get the four. Gonna bump it down, we're gonna add, we're gonna add, and we're gonna put that there. It didn't bump down. It didn't bump down. It didn't, it's not bumping down. Why didn't you bump down? Copy from second and then bump down. Okay, and then we need... You're to jump over the bump. Okay. I think I'm learning. I'm learning how to program, guys. All of you programmers watching are gonna laugh at me for that. All of you are gonna laugh at me for that. I think the zero was a diversion. No, fuck, you've got the wrong number. Copy from third. Ah, uh, copy from third. So this is supposed to be 12, right? Yes! Did I do it? There's no way this only works with this set of numbers, by the way. This works with every number ever that isn't negative. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness, I did it! Oh wait. Oh wait, I didn't- I didn't have a thing with- Okay. I forgot to add a thing that if it goes to negatives, then stop it. Okay, so inbox, copy to first, copy to third, inbox, copy to second, bump. Go up here. If it's negative... Then we go up here. And that will be copy from... First, outbox, jump. If this doesn't work, I'll do a step by step to make sure. This, this takes a long time to do the math, so. So this will test if it's negative, just. Oh, because it's multiplying by zero, I see. Copy from... Zero. That was stupid, I forgot multiplying by zero. It makes sense, that was, that was dumb. Look at it go. Look at this bad boy go. I'm so impressed with myself, I'm not sure if you are, but I sure am. No, I'm thinking with portals. It worked. I can't believe it worked. Wow. I did the things. I did the things! Nope. Nope. <laughs> I don't care. I did it. Oh my gosh, there's so much more. I'm not sure I'm ever gonna get to this. I don't think I'm ever gonna get through all of this. Um, 
I'm already struggling with just like all of this. Anyways, this is Human Resource Machine. My name is Nagark. I'm learning how to program things, kind of. And thank you for watching!